Peter, before we got to TGS, you kept telling me about this game that you were really excited to see. I'd never heard anything about it, and we both got to check it out. It's called Zodiac. Yeah. Uh, it's a really interesting concept. Uh, they kind of gave us a little sneak peek at some gameplay. Um, kind of a little closed-lipped about it, but it's cool what we've seen so far, and I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. So they've basically partnered with some ex-Final Fantasy developers, right, including Hitoshi Sakamoto, who is the composer of games like Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy XII, and then they were also working with a scenario writer from uh, games like Final Fantasy X and mm. a few other ones. Like, these guys were responsible for some of the best Final Fantasy games of the past decade. And what they're trying to do is they're, they're working with this studio and a director uh, who was a fan of their games, and they're trying to make it like a 90s RPG and yes, it's a mobile title first and foremost, but it's also coming to Vita and it's potential to come to consoles. And it's supposed to be a hybrid of Final Fantasy, Valkyrie Profile, but it's essentially like a melding of these great Japanese RPGs that people are fond of and, you know, maybe we haven't seen something like it. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely got the people behind it to make this, you know, something like really substantial and interesting. And something I really enjoyed about it when I saw it for the first time is uh, the artistic style of it. It's 2D animated. Uh, you can tell it's hand drawn. It's really beautiful. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of Child of Light. Uh, not just in this beautiful world that has this kind of like, it almost looks like a watercolor painting yeah. style, but also in the mechanics. I mean, you're kind of like flying on this griffin uh, throughout the world, and then it's turn based, right? And you kind of fall into the combat scenario again yeah. it's just quite quite familiar from child of light and man that game was great so it's interesting to see uh, how much of it it's going to be like yeah it's going to be a multiplayer game as well so you'll be able to play with your friends online and they're not sure how it's going to work like if you can play between the ipad and the vita just yet yeah, they're kind of working out those details you know you think zodiac you think the zodiac signs and uh you are a character that is trying to earn the power of the 12 gods that are represented of this like circular island but different each section is a different sign of the zodiac the Zodiac also represents, for each sign, a different class. And you can change classes in battle in real time and kind of cycle through those. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like a turn-based Japanese RPG with kind of the Child of Light sort of things you described. And it's a little bit reminiscent of Dragon's Crown in its visual style. Like, mm. Sort of big, like, bustly people. Not busty, but, <laughs> you know, it's not sort of approaching that, like... I that. know what you mean. <laughs> but um, the game is playable to show floor. It's, it's still pretty early, though. Um, so we'll see where it's where it's going to go. It's been in development for about 12 months. Mm -hmm. It's the first time they've talked about it. I think he said they've got about another year to go, but you know that could change. But I think it's it's interesting to see these Western developers working with the Japanese team that's used to doing consoles, give, especially because the Japanese market is so mobile focused now. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like luring them into not luring them, but bringing them into a part of the industry that they think is a good business to be involved in. But they're doing it on an international level rather than focusing on just the Japanese side of things, which. Let's be honest, like, there aren't that many 90s style Japanese RPGs anymore. There's this whole modern thing. Mm. So the Western arm of the industry is sort of allowing them to do the things that they love. And that's, I think that's a really good thing. Yeah.